Now, speaking of the distinctions between ethnicities and all that other nonsense that people like to say to try and separate themselves because of some stupid, misplaced, and egocentric, ungodly, selfish sense of personal pride and nationalistic slash ethnic exceptionalism that does not exist. We are all equal by God. Let me talk about this. Here's a distinction I want to talk about. The fact that it should not exist. I mentioned before with Divine, and I mentioned on my own with the video that's not out yet, about a girl named Tomiko Umekita. Tomiko Umekita, she worked <laughs> like really, really hard, like anybody else in Japan at the time in 1945. Labored, just like a prisoner of war would labor. Didn't really have guards beating her over like church, but like besides that, and besides, I guess th there wasn't as many mosquitoes, or, or there there were, but the mosquitoes didn't have malaria. It was it was more or less the same. There was no real distinction to be made, and the exact type of work she was doing doesn't really matter for the purpose of this. It was you know back breaking hard ass work, like every fucking kid was doing back then, with very little food at all. And it was done the entire day. But what matters for the purpose of this talk right here that I want to do with you guys is I brought this up in the video too. But the first thing I wanted to say is that they were doing some evil shit, those soldiers. And let, let's say in the video that I, I did that you don't see right now, the video that I did talked about the evil shit that the soldiers in Japan were doing to innocent girls her age in manila in that battle because macarthur chose to come in there be all superman rich as he could be and got a lot of people killed and those soldiers were so frustrated and evil that they started violating and killing girls around the ages of whatever the fuck they didn't care they didn't care what i also said in that video is that this is underreported, but if you were Japanese, there were two things that you were told. One, you were told to evacuate because you might be killed in the fighting, just straight up. You would either be bombed to death by the Americans, or if you survived that, just like if anybody who was Filipino survived that, the people in charge of the Japanese army, they, they didn't say this, but they had lost control of their soldiers, basically, because the ranks were breaking down because everybody was like every man for themselves at this point. And they were attacking basically anybody they wanted to. Also, you had technically immunity, or you were supposed to have had immunity from these atrocities by the Japanese army. The soldiers are not supposed to go ahead and target you for violence. If you are a Japanese civilian. Two issues of this. One, the soldiers didn't give a fuck. And most of them hated their higher ups anyway. Because their higher ups were hoarding food rations. Anything given by the government to people overseas. The higher ups took it like priority matter of course. And also the training was excessive. In terms of harshness for the people who were lower on the totem pole. The regular rank and file soldiers. And they were... I don't just mean like physically, but they were psychologically abused, which just was like anything you want to say. Demeaning, disgusting tasks, having to sleep in worse places that are disgusting and just being talked down to and treated like total shit and told they're going to die, etc., etc. You got to remember that most of the people in these armies, because there are multiple Japanese armies, but in this army, right, the, the majority of people, they were conscripted so they didn't want to be there in the first place and so they they just let the demons in and became evil just like the americans did a lot of them became evil they, they talk a lot about how japanese soldiers are starving and so they cannibalized american soldiers and and whatnot that is true that is true it is demonic and american soldiers were doing similar just br brutalizing Japanese soldiers while they were alive, torturing them, 
cutting their heads off, one after the other, just like the Japanese soldiers were doing, playing around with their skulls, making necklaces and shit like that, just like what they did with the, uh, um, I'm sorry, not necklaces, that's, that's more of the Native American shit, when they were doing that with the little, the little babies, but I'm talking about more like they, they were like making candle holders and shit like that, and, and paper rates out of skulls, and, and, do not cross this point. This is where it's American territory. Look at the Jap skull here. They like they were they were having fun with it and being as evil as possible. For fun. Just straight up for fun. Demons on both sides. It doesn't really matter. If you have the word of God still within your spirit, then you are within God. Otherwise, you are devilish. You're of the devil. So it doesn't fucking matter. Regardless of what trial and tribulation you're facing, you want to say that they made us stoop down to their level. They were doing this so bad to us that we had to do it badly to them. And the other the Okinawan kids and, and women and, and guys who were trying to surrender and, and pray for just to live. It's because of the soldiers in Japan was making it in the human shields. They were taking them as the human shields. and Demon. It doesn't matter. Demon. Straight demon on both sides. It's like the opposite of Star Wars. There are no heroes on both sides. They're deep, well, there are, but they're demons on both sides. This is all a humane thing. Notice I use the same word. It's about humanity individually again. And so to not belabor that point, the point I'm getting at is that since, well, I, I sort of got one half of it. When I was going back to talking about the Japanese civilians and their evacuating to try and not be killed by the American soldiers and the Japanese soldiers. One, they had sort of higher priority in terms of safety with regard to the Japanese army. The Japanese army, they were told anyway to, hey, any Filipino that you see, go ahead and do whatever you want with them. Man, woman, or child, or baby. It doesn't matter. You can kill them. It doesn't matter. Because they're colluding with the Americans. And they don't respect us. We're trying to help them. And, and we know you want to do it anyway. So just take it out on them instead. <laughs> it's like it's like a, an evil ass concession. Otherwise, they, could, they don't give a fuck who they kill. But just spare the, the Japanese civilians. Don't, don't go after them. What happens? What happens is... <laughs> one, like I said... The soldiers don't care. They don't give a fuck. And two, they don't want to. They don't. That sounds like it's the same point. But let's look at this a little bit closer. Like I said, we're regarding ethnic boundaries and all that stuff and exceptionalism and how they look so different. And you, you're a racist if you say you look the same. They didn't care. And that proves in history. A lot of Japanese civilians were attacked by these Japanese soldiers. Just straight up. Because they looked as though they could be quote unquote Filipino. There are a lot of people who are from the Philippines, born and raised, who look like Tomiko Umekita. Today, let alone back then. When there was less diversity, so to speak. Because there wasn't as much mingling back then. But there are a lot of people from that area who look, or from Korea, who would look like her. Who would look Japanese because she's Japanese or from China who would look like her who would look Japanese because she's Japanese or from Indonesia who you get what I'm saying and the soldiers did not care the soldiers attacked women and children who were Japanese as well it happened much less why because well the, the primary difference is language if someone is begging for their life in Japanese it becomes much harder to justify raping and slaughtering them because there are people around you who are also in the army who would know that you are breaking the directive and going ahead and slaughtering and raping people who you are not supposed to, Japanese people. But otherwise, and especially if they really don't care that much, they're going to, they're going to do you wrong. Regardless of whether you are Filipino, regardless of whether you're Japanese, they wouldn't care because they are demons and they want that excuse. We're losing. We're good. He's going to feel good just to take it out on somebody, somebody with less power.
In other words, somebody without a gun and a, a knife attached to the gun. Innocent little girl, she can't defend herself at all. We're already grown men in armor, but we got guns in the... Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. We got guns. And so we're going to rape her at gunpoint. And then when she thinks we spared her life after we've inside of her, we're going to kill her anyway. And if she were Japanese, we would do the same thing. Why? Because we would turn a blind eye towards hearing her scream in Japanese and beg for her life in Japanese. Or we would kill her quickly enough to where we wouldn't care because there was a lot of necrophilia going on there, too. They would straight up kill. Well, men, I don't really know about the, the gay stuff, but they would straight up kill women and kids. And babies, yes. And then rape them. Just because. And so a lot of these victims are assumed to be Filipino and the majority of them were. No doubt about that. But the point is, it doesn't matter. They killed whoever the fuck they wanted to who could not get away in time. Or who didn't want to get away. Or who was told by their parents that were staying or whatever. Who was told by their grandparents that no, no, we've lived here for so many years before any of this fighting started happening. We've gotten along with the populace. This will blow over. This will blow over. We're all friends. We're all neighbors. Mm -mm. Because demons don't want that. And then the local populace that you had gotten so along with, so so well with, you were all friends. You were all sharing everything. You were going to the same schools, all of that shit. Most of the people there turned against you and tried to kill you because this is the army that you, quote unquote, brought. This is the pain and suffering that you, quote unquote, brought. Is it fair for you? No, it's not fair for you. But again, this is to say that there are demons on both sides. And no matter what trial and tribulation you're going through, if you leave God, you have left God. There is no excuse. It doesn't matter what side of the conflict you are on whatsoever. That police car has a Spider-Man badge on it. That's pretty fucking cool. You see what I'm saying? My point is that these, these ethnic boundaries, one, don't matter physically because they don't exist. I mean, to some extent, they exist for some people. But the human gene pool is way too complicated for that shit. To just say, this is what Japanese people look like. This is what Filipino people look like. This is what people from Mali look like. This is what people from Sudan look like. This is what white Italians look like. This is what a white uh, Poles look like. This is what Chinese look like. This is what Thailanders look like. No, it doesn't fucking work like that. This is what Nicaraguans look like. This is what Ecuadorians look like. No. No, no, no. That is just another form of shallow-ass nationalism. Shallow nationalism. Arbitrary barriers. So, so fallible. So weak in the face of God. And meaningless. Just pathetically petty. And amounting to nothing. But, well, what we have today. Discrimination, prejudice, and at worst, justification for genocide. Or murder, regardless. Just murder. Based on where the fuck you happen to live in terms of these dumbass borders that aren't worth shit. A fucking rave could just come and take these borders out. Or a fucking dust storm or whatever the fuck. You will build the biggest border you ever seen in America with the wall. Wall, there ain't no fucking wall. The Great Wall of China kept out all the, the Great Wall of China didn't keep no one the fuck out. And it was never fucking finished. And so many innocent people died building that piece of shit wall that never was fucking finished. And at some places you could just walk right over it. Weak, 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 arbitrary, just random discrimination for no fucking reason based on the most shallow of qualifiers that are all man-made. No, she would have been attacked. Tomiko would have been attacked, regardless. If she had offended the wrong... The, the specific analogy that I gave, scenario rather, was if, she, if you gave her a gun and told her to go into a random bar in the Philippines 
and she would see a girl her age being molested or whatever the fuck or straight up attacked. She would either be too revolted to know what to do and too scared to know what to do, which means she is against it. Or she would tell the soldiers to stop and or shoot them. And she's not going to, first of all, she wouldn't know whether or not that person is Japanese unless she hears that person speak. Or maybe they wear a certain type of clothing and, and whatever that's not used to what she knows or whatever. But if again, if you just put her there, she wouldn't know one way or another. Because it's known that people from Japan are going to other countries and settling there. But she might call it colonizing or whatever. It's done today. It's really about the intent behind it. It's done fucking today. Straight up. If you are doing it with evil means and you're trying to just take resources from people and, and leave them with nothing and, and settlers in Palestine, like the majority of them, go well then colonizing. But if you're trying to learn the, the language and customs of the people there and live together with them in harmony and, and just gain opportunities there for you and your family and help out with the economy there and, and share what you know with the people there, share Japanese cuisine, and, and uh, then... It's not colonizing. It's not. Colonizing is you're trying to take over as though you were like the first people there. That's what the, the fucking uh, American white European settlers did. And their descendants on Reddit are talking shit about the people in Japan and the Philippines who are now suffering and, and having to live out in forests and, and drink piss and shit. Because they're being attacked at home by the locals and, and the American army, the, the well... They see what's going on with like the, the fucking skull ceremonies. And since they see the skull ceremonies, they're thinking, and the uh, Japanese army is telling them, they're going to do this to you and your children if they catch you. Kill yourselves or otherwise don't let them catch you. And it's like, I mean, that what argument is there against it? That is what they are technically doing, literally doing. And you wonder why a lot of them didn't surrender when your grandfather, great granddad or whoever the fuck, whatever the fuck was doing. That to men and adolescents who did, they are brutalizing and disrespect, just straight up vandalizing the bodies of your husband, your child's dad, the loving uncle who was always doing whatever, and a lot of evil people too. But you wouldn't know the difference because you just see a, a dead soldier's skull just being abused and other shit, other that I don't want to talk about. The evil shit is when you, you commit, well, suicide is whatever. I don't get into that. But it's when you force your, your kids to commit suicide or you kill them or you kill your wife or, or whatever. That, or you all jump off of cliffs together with the holding their hands so they don't really have a choice. That, that's that evil shit. That again, you're going to be judged by that regardless of what you're going through. Whatever trial or tribulation you're going through, you know what is right and what is wrong. And a mother cannot take herself out of this world and leave the children alone. That happened a lot in Hiroshima. Yes, you fucking can leave this world and leave the children alone. God will take care of that. You don't kill your fucking kids. Or your fucking wife. Or your fucking husband. You don't do that shit. But, again, this would happen because there is no distinction made by demons who want to just kill whoever and it leads people to let demons in and make drastic ass decisions like this because demons around them are making these people susceptible to such evil to such sin but back to tomiko tomiko would kill that soldier based on my analysis of her reading her her diary or or she would go ahead and just be against it internally or would say something why because she has a, a pure-ish spirit. No one's entirely pure. But she has a pure spirit relative to what the fuck she's seeing. And she wouldn't want to let that shit happen to a little girl just like her. An another fucking middle school girl. is not gonna, She's not going to let that shit happen. Or she's not going to at least stand by and not saying anything. And, and, that must be a Filipino. Who the fuck cares? It's, it's a lesser creature. Uh, you can see by the eyes, the, the jawline is a little bit different. Therefore, the race is inferior. I'm all right with letting the, the uh, molestation with the rape. No. The fuck out of here. And you know what would happen? She would kill that soldier, most likely. 
or the soldier would leave, probably what would happen is she would either kill that soldier and then run and check and see if the girl's okay and try and gesturally communicate with her when she finds out that they don't speak the same language. And then the other girl would try and, and say something back and, and that wouldn't work out and they, they would try to, you know, like, humanely communicate through emoting and, and maybe some basic, basic language sharing and she tries to get that girl some help or... If she doesn't kill the soldier outright, that soldier is going to try and attack her because she's got a gun. And if that soldier gets a hold of her, that soldier is going to take the gun from her and that soldier is going to rape and murder her. And if Tomiko tried to help that poor girl pleading for help by trying to yank him off barehanded, the same thing would have happened to her. And she is a Japanese girl. The soldier wouldn't care. A lot of Japanese people were, and I don't mean just mean Okinawan people, but I, I do as well. But because they count as Japanese people, too, they do. But I mean, people who who were like mainland Japanese and they happen to be living abroad. They were killed by soldiers for speaking out. Just like they were killed by the shoguns or whatever, just for whatever the fuck reason, because the shogun wanted to do it or the samurai or whatever. The samurai wanted to do it. So the samurai would just kill a commoner on the side of the street. They're both Japanese. They don't fucking care. A demon uses whatever reason it can to kill you. It doesn't matter. That's the ultimate evil. And so it wants to partake in it. And doubly so if it can get away with torturing you rape beforehand. Or whatever the fuck else it would it would do to her that I don't want to I don't want to get into talking about. Not out of disrespect or whatever, since she was bombed and killed murdered in Hiroshima Tomiko but just because it's not really you get my point it doesn't matter these distinctions don't need to be made and these distinctions are only made as an excuse to perpetuate discrimination and worse matter of fact it doesn't need to be made anyway because the majority of people who have these discussions are right and they don't empathize with what young girls like this went through matter of fact the majority of Americans today still support the atomic bombings. They still support that evil shit. 